Hey guys, if you've watched my channel before, then you know that I'm a pretty big Sega Genesis fan. And like always, I like to give a little bit of love to the system that's near and dearest to my heart. So I figured why not talk about five games that I really enjoy playing on the Sega Genesis. There's just only one thing, no Sonic games. I know what you're saying. Yeah, but Sonic is so good. Yes, he is, but Sonic gets all the love. I figured, let's talk about five games that maybe don't get any love. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy five games that I think you should be playing if you're playing the Sega Genesis. I love me some Fire Shark. I love this game. Fire Shark is one of my favorite games on the Sega Genesis. It has been for a long time, and I'm always surprised at how many people don't know about this game. Everyone hears about, you know, Truxton and uh, Truxton, but no one ever talks about Fire Shark. And actually, lately, it's just started to get some love because the price of the original cart has kind of gone up. And I believe they are re-issuing uh, it in a package along with Hellfire, uh, Truxton, and some other ones too. So that's really nice to see. So what do we got here is a vertical shooter. And, you know, there is a story to this, but who cares, really? Basically, you have a whole bunch of vehicles and tanks and planes and whatever coming at you. You have to power up. You have to get more speed. You increase your weapons, you have different kind of weapons, different kind of lasers, you have the spread. Look, it's not breaking any new ground here, but the thing I like the most about this game is for a shooter, it's not super hard, which is great because it seems like most shooters just want to kick your ass. And for this one, it's very, very middle of the road. Now, towards the end, it does get more difficult. But you never feel like it's like, forget it. You know, like a bullet hell shooter. Fire Shark, really good game. Try it out, guys. So in case you were wondering, it's pronounced Herzog Zawai. I don't know what that means, but uh, okay. This game is a deep cut for me here because when I got this game, I actually bought it used out of the back of a gaming magazine. They weren't even making this new anymore. And this was back when the Genesis was in its prime. And I'd already rented this game at the local video store like a half a dozen times. This was my first kind of foyer into real-time strategy games. And you really didn't see too much of this on the home consoles yet. This was more of a PC thing, and I think it still is. But to be on a 16-bit system and be this good is just fantastic. So basically, you take the role of a plane that can turn into a robot, and you fly around making different units and taking over bases and as you take different bases over you're able to make more money and as you make more money you can you know obviously build units faster and with the ultimate goal of sending units to attack your enemy's base and that's pretty much it but it's just so much fun it's so easy to control the fact that you can turn into a plane and a robot is just fantastic and this kind of goes is like the precursor to like games like Total Annihilation and Supreme Commander on PC that came out obviously later. But if you're looking for just a average, easy to play, real time strategy game, this is the game you want, Herzog Zawai.
Okay, I know, I know, I put a sports game on the list. And to be honest with you, there's not much to say about it because it's a sports game. It's hockey. But here's the thing. This game is so much fun. Even if you're not a hockey fan, it's still fun. Heck, even if you're not a sports fan, it's still fun. It's one of those games that still has that 16-bit charm to it. It's super easy to pick up and play. You can play one game or you can play an entire season, and that's pretty much it. NHL Hockey for the Sega Genesis. Pick up and play. You won't be disappointed. Next up on our list is Super Monaco GP, a very solid racing game. And for me, I'm not big on racing games, but this one seems to hit the sweet spot for me. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. So basically, you have several different difficulty levels on this. Three to be exact. You have Beginners, which is the automatic transmission, and then the middle and the hard one are uh, manual transmissions. You have a practice mode where you just practice as much as you want on the different racetracks. And then you have something called the Super Monaco GP uh, World Championships. And that's pretty much, in this game, the uh, full season of racing. You'll start each race with a preliminary race to determine where you start in the race. And then, depending on how well you do in that race, you'll either be retired, as I often do if I do really bad, or if you place really high, then you get to go on to the next race and so on and so forth. It is a very easy uh, game to control. The graphics are decent and the sound is, the sound is okay. Let's face it, this game ain't rewriting the book on anything. But as far as a pick up and play game that is very enjoyable, Super Monaco GP is your way to go. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for that kick-ass shooter, this is definitely the one you've been looking for, and that's Eliminate Down. Now, truth be told, this is not technically a Sega Genesis game. This is a Mega Drive game. It only came out in Japan. But ever since I found out about this game, I've wanted to tell everybody about it. And the longer as time goes on, the more people know about this game. And it's very easy to find online in a repro. The ROM is very easy to find so I definitely lump this into the Sega Genesis list of games here and if you're looking for a game that's really super hard then dude this is it because this game from minute one kicks your teeth in but it is awesome I've only made it barely past the first level and I love it for some reason I just love coming back to get my ass kicked every single time but it's such a good looking game and I know if I just put enough time into this thing and that's going to be a lot of time that I'm going to be able to really do some damage on this game. I'm not looking to beat it. I just want to hold my own. This is not anything new as far as the shooters go, but the look of it, the sound, the design is all fantastic. It almost feels like in certain parts of this game that... It was designed by the same people that designed album covers from like Molly Hatchet or something. Just like a hairband. Just kind of that hellish devil flaming skulls looking shit. And I love it. This game is definitely on one of my top 10 shooters lists of all times. You need to check this out if you've never played it before. Eliminate Down. <laughs> All 
right, guys, there it is. Five titles on the Sega Genesis that are definitely worth playing. If you grew up playing the Super Nintendo, it's definitely worth taking a look at the library for the Genesis. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, take care and goodbye.